Welcome back. Uh, we sat down to have another little chat before we head off to the hotline. I've debated whether or not I should just do one of these every time I come in, or... But, well... I think the first thing I'd ask is... What most personally affects me. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Except, wasn't there a blood spatter pattern that uh, means the bullet went right through his skull? Hmm. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Reception filter. Got it. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Yeah, I think I'd end the conversation there too. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. There is a thing behind, isn't there? Yes, there is. It does have a thing. I still need to figure out crafting and such. I'll look it up on YouTube, I imagine. Mind. It looks like they fixed the, uh... Hmm. We should look around first. Yeah, I had to, uh... We do settings on, is it just sprinting or the walk toggle? I guess they patched it. Where should 
das. Else of interest here, apparently. This is the way we came. No, it's not. But I'm not seeing anything of interest. Yes, yes, I'll get to you soon enough. I may have been through some of this before, I don't know. I have to admit, I got distracted by RimWorld, and now I don't remember stuff. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Islamabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. <laughs> Astral world problems. Oh, another thing. Reload efficiency sounds actually... Stick to the health boost for now until I can level up anyway. Sure, why not? And that's it. These are the offices of the department heads, aren't they? Hmm. I'm probably going to miss some of these. I would not be surprised. Examination of paranatural topics, technological limitations of the oldest house. The oldest house imposes certain limitations on our bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any redacted signal. Radio waves are the only transmiss transmittable signals in the oldest house, and even those are often unreliable. If the power of collective unconsciousness is taken into account, it could be that certain pieces of technology are too new in the cultural redacted for the oldest house to redacted them. Similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered status. Technology may be moving at too fast a pace for the redacted to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Redacted agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. No, somehow I'm not surprised. Hmm. That's where we came from. Wait a minute. I have clearance now. No, that's four. Did I get clearance, or was that when I was playing through the beginning? Yeah, I've only gotten so far myself. Not as far as Wasted did, but, uh... Thing. Yeah. When we reach the point I reached, I will let you know, and then we will be going blind from there. exactly talk and listen to it at the same time. Now the radio. Not that one. Is this the way I came in? Possibly. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think this was it. That's three. I forget why that's important, but I know it is. And there doesn't seem to be anything I can do about it for now. Yeah, that's what I thought. We unlock that later. Something to bind, I think. Hmm. All right then. Keep on keeping on. There it is again. A welcome message. I see. Oh, it doesn't look so good for Tomasi then, does it? But I can only hear. Ah. Did he just get angrier because I committed a violence against his people? Hmm. That does not look good. And it hurts. It's overpowering here. Should not have done that. Me anywhere near it. With you on that. I'm guessing there's about to be more violence. Malia again. Yes, okay. Yeah, I've forgotten how cool it was, all the destructible surfaces in this game. <laughs> it adds meat to it adds meat to your powers, I'd say. I think there's a thing up there, but I can't reach it yet. that way. First I'm going to check the toilets. Yeah. Nice break from the chant of the hiss. The hiss resonance field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. 
Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. Resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from, an, from other non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the Hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the Hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for a full report. That's helpful. I guess I need to get clearance to read the thing and then higher clearance to read the actual thing. I'm pretty sure he sounds more frantic every time you uh, survive an attack or something. I don't know. Nothing in there. There was a thing. What was the thing? We can't use that thing with this thing. Okay. You're not armed, but... Looks like you are. Where's the one I wounded? Not that one. Uh -oh. Thing. Where'd you go? There you went. I'm getting achievement alerts. This was a thing. Oh. Please be aware. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart green, stable. Yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts. Orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts. Red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. There's no blue. I know it's not part of the spectrum of alerts and alarms, but Red Dwarf ruined me in that regard. It does mean changing the bulb. I can't see what this is. Same fish. And it's not showing up on this. Oh wait, there was more than one thing, wasn't there? Yes, there was. This one first. I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know, or the ones anyone knows, a new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator, and the coils from my toaster, and the fans, plus the timing belt from my car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said that he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dying plate on God. Hmm. And the singing fish. Mr. Governor... Oh dear. Mr. Governor... I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button. But it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil's songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. 
My wife is real upset. Can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Yep, I can't see a thing here. Maybe it's too dark? Also, flashlight comes up. No, it does not. Oh well. Readings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database from that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the, the archive I'm reading too fast, aren't I? will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters came to us from various places and times. Okay, that explains something. Gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but uh, even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Right, well, it's probably his by now. Someone will have to pick up where they left off. I wouldn't be surprised if the singing fish one was real. Did I check that one? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That's not good. Retreating again, what's the matter? Afraid of losing your shield? Oh. Yeah, I can take care of the poison of you. I hate it when they move. Granted, it's logical that they should... There we go. It's logical that she, they should react to being hit. Right. See, it sounds like there's more coming, but the music has stopped, so... here for the moment at least. I do look forward to being able to open all the doors. first. Yeah, I know, the fast travel thing. Hmm. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts 
vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on it. Communications. We're on the right track. Yeah, but I'm just telling to look around. Is there anything else to look around at, though? Eh, let's just go. Sorry, Artie, for knocking over all the toilet paper. for it. Yes, I know. I have to show me. Is everybody turn this off? Maybe this isn't a good time to look around, eh? Let's get the thing first. I think we're good here. Click the thing. There we go. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. Their pyramids in the bureau seal. Are they really the ones pulling the strings? I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Jedi powers activate. <sighs> I do enjoy the astral plane. Doesn't do as much though, does it? Hmm. Apparently not. But we'll hold on to it for the moment. Okay. That's got distance.
Looks like it doesn't match. I can launch it. Straight at things, no matter where it is between us. Do I need? No, I don't. That's fine. I'm fine. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you wanted, right? Okay. This will help me fight this. Come on, give me a target. Or I can just do that. Throw the explosive thing at the other explosive thing. I don't mind shooting sideways, even if it's... Oh, actually it is a problem. Okay. Okay, now we can look around. Nothing here. that which I can't unlock yet. Been there. Yeah, back we go. It didn't even get a shot off, did it? Oh, is it that way? I want to go. Something to check first. Yep. And another thing as well. Now it's showing up. We've seen that one. Book Cubs Notes for Penny by L. Sampson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was alright. The title, Unless You, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess, but I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around, almost like a catchphrase, got annoying real fast. Best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors who go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade city planet and convert the entire population using those brainworms? And that space dog fight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing for me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly. His death didn't feel necessary at all. Two out of five. Look, I, I love playing the bad guys in like Star Wars films and stuff. Uh, games. Star Wars games and stuff. You read that one, right? Yeah. But uh, still. Floppy disk. Containment procedure. Must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Description Power Utility. The object is an 8 inch diskette of containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the object allows power utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. Yeah, we saw that. The object is currently bound to redacted for research purposes. Background Stolen from the Soviet military base located and redacted by agents redacted and redacted with the CIA. The diskette contained. I love that they're calling it a diskette instead of a floppy disk. Contained launch codes to redacted missiles believed to be reserved for the use against redacted. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at members of the decoding team. 
An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off, and it, has, and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. Probably for the best. Yeah, I'm not reading these. It's not nearly as entertaining. Okay, I can see everything over here. I believe I want to go this way. Hmm. Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Take a quick look in here. Yes, I see a thing over there, but first. Actually, it can't be true anymore because all kinds of throwable things are now highlighted, aren't they? I believe it was a thing. Yeah, there's the thing. Reinformation Campaign Summary of Willow Awe. AWE. Oh, good grief. It's because it doesn't have the dots. National news sites have begun publishing the story of the polar bear attack on the Alaskan town. You all know I don't like to boast, but claiming that the family was killed by migrating polar bears desperate for food because their ecosystem is being ruined by global warming was a stroke of genius. Using current ecological concerns makes the public much less likely to redact it. So, another AWE behind us, and the public is none the wiser. Well done, everyone. It was a strong campaign and perfectly executed. This doesn't mean we can stop monitoring redacted, redacted, and redacted for any off-message opinions, but it's looking like we're in the clear. Tomasi out. Yeah, I don't really get uh, Tomasi's accent from the hiss. Chant, whatever. So, I'm... Not even going to try. Alright, boss fight in there. So it's a good thing that this is here. The first. I do not want to get stuck in a dark bathroom. Can't tell. I guess if it's dark, I just shouldn't bother. Yeah. Okay. This must open the door. Yeah. I forgot, I think there's another body out here somewhere that gives it to. But never mind. Point is, we can do this now. Okay, let's see how many times this kills me. Transition, isn't it? Where are the friends? I don't like them. There we 
Here are the friends. Ow. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Let me throw things. And then I run for the sparklies. Head upstairs, shall we? Whoa. Something explosive this way, blue. Come on. Stop hiding, you little sausage. Wait a minute. Nope, that's not something coming into being there. There you are. Stop being such a cheeky bugger. Now that makes him drop the stuff. Something. There we go. I have a feeling he'll be back. <sighs> Let's stay oh. focused. The hotline should be past the mailroom. Maybe I'm doing better now that I'm recording. It puts on some pressure. <laughs> Can I open that? I can open that. Okay. Stay focused, yes, but I still want to check the area. Am I hearing Artie? Or his song. Let's take a quick walk around. Alberto Tomasi, head of comms. Not anymore. Unless you count the his chant. Got him. Boy. All right, take this down. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign power. Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but we can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctors examined them first. Honestly, what are the odds that all that item would show up inside a U.S. Embassy? Talk about good luck, huh? <laughs> so much easier to... Hey, are you still recording this? Yes, yes he was. He didn't tell him to stop. I have a new thing. What's the new thing? What's that thing? Still sticking to the health. Oh, but uh, there's also a reading thing. But. Just because it provides the opportunity to say, but. 
A spate of disappearances has traced was traced to a home in the city of Butt, where Bureau agents discovered a translocative light switch cord. Your agents arrived at the home of a local celebrity located at Redacted Redacted, which had been connected to a total of redacted disappearances in the area. Agents found no one inside. While searching a closet, an agent pulled the light switch cord and disappeared from view. Another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event. He disappeared as well. Both agents were discovered at the oldest house, redacted late days later. Redacted days later. Found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. Lucky timing there. The light switch cord in the butt home's, fam home's closet disappeared during this incident. Interesting. Butts are generally interesting. The hotline can't be far now. Squeezable, smackable, biteable butts. I'm going to take a look. Or is this the way I'm supposed to go? Yes, it is. There's a thing. Get the thing first. I don't think rate of fire is my problem. Right. But I'll have a look. Okay. I've sworn there was a th oh, yes. Bishop. And that was there. All right, then. Yeah, that's everything. Oh, almost missed something. But supplement. I had to start this one over because my throat dried up part of the way through. More opportunities to say but though. AWE 17. Details. According to their testimony, the agents had been transported from the butt home to a roadside motel named the Ocean View Motel and Casino, and discovered a room key by performing a ritual, see file MOT-01. The key opened a door marked with an inverted black pyramid, which they only learned after a lengthy period of trial and error. After pulling another motel cord found inside this room, they were transported to the oldest house. Disappearances of the home's owner and the other locals of Butt have been attributed to the light switch cord. The Ocean View Motel is now known to have many doors and pathways. Since the occurrence, identical light switch cords to the one found in the butt home have begun appearing throughout the oldest house. At the time of writing, redacted light cords have been found in the oldest house located in the redacted and redacted sectors. These all access the Ocean View Motel, though how exactly this link operates is redacted, but initial hypotheses center on the butt WE as a redacted redacted. But, but, but. Okay, that's everything here, I think. Ring a ding ding. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Green Logic. The light switch cord. Door marked with the black pyramid. a lot of roadside motels across the country, on the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them, like 
something recognized from a dream. Collective unconscious. I don't think I can turn that radio off. Hello? Anyone here? Absolutely no one is here. Yeah. This is the easy one. That's not creepy at all. This isn't fun. Come and get me. I used to die on that one so much the first time around. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have it. The hotline. I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to... Get back to Emily. Hmm. Always do that too soon, don't I? Ah. 
Plotline. Containment procedure. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Description slash power utility. Object is a 1960s era red Bakelite telephone. Is it Bakelite or Bakelite? I don't know. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs redacted. Because that's an important bit of information. The object allows the director to communicate with the redacted. Shouldn't that be director? If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal redacted. Good to know. The object is currently bound to director trench. The object uh, background. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. Battery of tests were run on the object, including redacted and redacted, but its origin remains unknown. And this is new. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing. Ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now. But I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia. Exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. I must reach the hotline. I don't think he did. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do, some even better. They have proven themselves. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. Northmore hated my guts for that. But things change when you become director. You suddenly see this dark void for the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding. I can't keep up with it alone. When I forget that, things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Damage control. To help me get out of my mess. Why would I want this job? The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Ocean View operates on dream logic and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places. 
and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation. Even Bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel. The key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid. The rest, the many other doors, are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit, just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. The worst winter storm in Bureau history. Retribution for my sins. Our sins. This threat could destroy the Bureau. Everything I've built. Destroy me. A web spun turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide and seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts, dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Best to get those out of the way. People react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Does this one go then? Right, we can open a door here now, can't we? I don't know. It didn't show up for me. Jesse, 
Did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. That's why they're called sectors instead of floors. I think we're going to leave it there for now. A whole bunch of stuff got unlocked. And I'm not sure that we'll be able to do chapters with all the side quests and such going on. So I guess we'll have to see how things go. Until then.